Today we're going to talk about how and why the sky changes during the day and also on a sort of seasonal basis. To do that, we're going to use this umbrella. You might think not the most obvious bit of astronomical kit, but this umbrella is a little bit special. We've got all the stars of the Northern Hemisphere printed on the inside. We also have the band of the Milky Way traveling around as well. The handle of the umbrella represents the North Pole. So up at the top is the Pole Star, or the North Star of Polaris. So as the Earth spins round once every 24 hours, the sky appears to rotate above our heads. The stars appear to travel round, and that's 24 hours. What we need to add, though, to make our picture complete is a horizon, because not all these objects are visible all of the time. Sometimes they're below the horizon. So we add a horizon in. And now, as the sky turns round, you have objects rising in the east, traveling over your head, and setting down in the west. But our picture still isn't complete because we don't see the stars during the daytime. We have our sun, which is too bright, and it blots out everything else. So I'm going to add our sun in just up here. And now, all these stars are invisible. It's daytime. But as the sun travels round and sets below the western horizon, now the sky starts to get dark. About three quarters of an hour after sunset, you start to be able to see the brightest objects. So you have, for example, Orion the Hunter up. So this is the wintertime sky. As the night goes on, the sun eventually pops back up above the horizon. The sky gets bright. All these stars disappear. But now, if we fast forward about six months, the Earth is on the other side of the sun, so it's gone halfway around in its orbit, which means that it appears on the opposite side of the sky. So now, all these stars like Orion that were up visible during the winter time at night are now up during the daytime. We can't see them. As a summer day draws to its close, sets in the west, all these stars now start to become visible in the summer nighttime sky, so things like Hercules and Lyra. As the Earth keeps on spinning, the sun pops up again, sky goes bright, all the stars disappear, and we've come through 24 hours and also all the way through six months.